show together with the European Center for Democracy and Human Rights and Arabian Rights Watch Association called the Council's attention to the serious and gross violations of human rights and the laws of war by some member states of this Council. As it stands, the Council has no serious criteria for membership other than quotas for each of the regional groups in the UN and a requirement that Council members be elected by a simple majority of the General Assembly. All states are permitted to be elected to the Council, even those states where human rights violations are systemic to their governance structure and committed against neighboring peoples. We recommend that those member states who commit such crimes be moved to a lower level of membership or, re or, or removed so that they cannot perform the same role as a, as a full member of this council. We recommend that any member state which prohibits freedom of association, denies the right to freedom of speech, imprisons those who demand basic rights, executes those who verbally express grievances, discriminates based upon religious affiliation, intentionally incites sectarian conflict, spreads xenophobia, violates the cultural rights of other nations, militarily interferes with the affairs of surrounding states without a UN mandate, imposes blockades on other nations in an attempt to starve the population into subjugation, or targets and kills innocent civilians, then they should not be permitted to serve as a full member of the council. Moreover, if a member state commits multiple violations, then the retraction of their membership status should be seriously considered. Mr. President, we are now in the 10th anniversary of the council and would like to commend your noble efforts to achieve what we have thus far, but it is now time that these minimum membership standards are addressed in an effective manner. We urge the Council to revisit the mechanisms by which member states are elected to the Council. We recommend putting into place higher thresholds that effectively reduce or remove membership privileges of human rights abusers or some other suitable consequence. Absent stronger mechanisms for maintaining credible membership, human rights abuses will go on unchecked. By implementing minimum standards for membership, the Council helps to encourage members to uphold the international standards of human rights and to avoid encouraging those who violate them. Thank you.